Sakoma, Bogrand, Nguyen, Guliatu, and Yoshida. That's a great start going in lane seven from the uh, Spanish swimmer Julio. But uh, wonderful underwater from the 18 year old Keisuke Yoshida going in eight for Japan. He already won bronze in the 400 free. It does have some strength in uh, back end of races, got some endurance undoubtedly. And going in lane two, Zach Reed of New Zealand is uh, showing he's got a little bit of a sprint in him. And Marco de Tullio, one of the two Italians in this final, already a silver medalist in the 400 free. Searching for some success, a little bit of a push, but it's Yoshida leading at the 50 with uh, 16 lengths of this Olympic pool to be swum by these uh, swimmers. It was very fast out from uh, Yoshida. I mean, he's effectively on world record pace of the opening 50. Perhaps needs to just slow the pace down a little. Uh, entry time of just 1500 meters specialists have the advantage of the steady, steady pace, being able to keep it going and just picking up at the finish, mixing it up by uh, making this pace a little faster for some of them. Well, it's interesting to see Kalmar also um, not allowing uh, Yoshida to get away from him. Kalmar can control the race, the European junior champion. He's a very adept swimmer over the 800 and 1,500 meter. Well, he was also previously medaled at European junior championships over the 400 as well. Although he missed out on a medal in the 400 meter freestyle in Buenos Aires, he in fact uh, only finished fifth in the 400 free final. But Nguyen of Vietnam making a move as well, going very nicely in lane six. He's less than a second behind Yoshida at the moment with plenty of lengths to go. But Nguyen, despite his entry time being just under eight minutes, he swam a national record 7.54 at the recent Asian Games and he took the bronze medal in the championships. And the 7.54 swimmer, effectively just over a month ago, shows that he's in good form. If he can produce that sort of form, he's a shoe in for even a gold medal here, is uh, the Vietnamese swimmer, and he would love to break his own record. And bear in mind, he finished behind two of the most accomplished swimmers in, uh, in Asia at the moment, Sun Yang and Shogo Takeda of Japan, and uh, Sun Yang of, of China, who's pretty much won it all, Olympic world champion. He's, he's, he's one of the most dominant swimmers to come out of Asia, and the first swimmer from China, male swimmer from China, to win an Olympic gold medal in the pool. Quite a remarkable swimmer, but uh, Nguyen of Vietnam finished just behind him in that bronze medal position. Looks to be Yoshida and Kalmar side by side, Nguyen not allowing either. Yeah, and it's uh, Nguyen who's uh, really picked up the pace again, starting to reel in Yoshida. Interesting to see if he responds and himself picks up the pace again, but he's really settled into a rhythm, so whilst he uh, Took the race out quite hard in the early stages. He has settled down, breathing every stroke to his right. So as he goes from the start end to the turn end, you can't see what's going on in the rest of the pool. And then as he uh, comes down towards the finish, he gets a good view of all seven lanes up from him. So nearly four seconds behind at 6.50. Well, quite often you see swimmers wait for the last 100 metres to... Uh, Pick up the pace and go for that sprint finish, if you like. But uh, Nguyen not hanging around. He's pressed, pressed early, giving himself big opportunity to try and extend the lead. It's and he's going... done it very effectively. Well, as he takes the ball, it is 100 metres to go now. Nguyen of Vietnam leads only once. And Vietnam ever collected a gold medal in the pool at the Youth Olympic Games that came in Nanjing in 2014. Japan have only got one gold medal in the pool here. It'll be Yoshida pushing Nguyen. Kalmar has the opportunity to, uh, to claim the bronze, but he's been caught very fast by Marco de Tullio, the Italian, who claimed the 400 free silver medal, going at a, a blistering rate in lane one. Yeah, four swimmers for three medals. Never a nice way for the uh, distant events to unravel. So it is a battle between lane one and uh, lane four for the bronze medal, but Nguyen, Perfectly paced race is just increasing his advantage with every stroke in the closing 50. Well, this is a wonderful swim from Nguyen. 
Hui Huang of Vietnam. He is going to create history here. The first male swimmer from Vietnam to claim gold at the Youth Olympic Games. And he'll do it in national record time as well. Smashes his own national record. Claims the gold. Yoshida with a fine silver medal. And De Tullio from one has edged out the European junior champion, Akos Kalmar off the podium, but that is a tremendous swim, sensational swim from Vietnam's Nguyen. Well, he's delighted. Yoshida took it out hard. He set the pace early on. 7.53, he comes home in. That is a, a tremendous time on its own. Marco de Tullio, though, to catch Akos Kalmar in the end, took him a little short of the, uh, the wall. But touching and getting Italy yet another medal, eighth medal for Italy in the pool. And uh, Kishoki Yoshida did the work there and was perfectly placed for Nguyen to follow, to chase, to overtake. He really was almost the perfect pacemaker for Nguyen. Two lanes up, was able to use him, close out the race, really unchallenged up the final 50. Oh, we like that. Well, history being created. He's Vietnam's first gold medalist in the pool at the Youth Olympic Games. And uh... But the historic gold goes to a proud young Vietnamese swimmer, 18-year-old Nguyen Hue Huang. He smashed his national record, which stood at 7.54.32 seconds, betted it by over four seconds, swimming a 7.50.20 seconds in this 800-meter freestyle. Bronze medalist at the Asian Games, he is gold medalist in national record time at the Youth Olympic Games, and he becomes Vietnam's first ever male to win a swimming gold at the Youth Olympic Games. He's only the third Vietnamese athlete to win any gold at any Olympic event. Very proud moment. Vietnam, following on from Nguyen Tian Vien's 200 meter individual medley. At Nanjing 2014, he keeps up a fine swimming run. And Nguyen, a gold medalist, will hear his national anthem played in the natatorium. Wonderful moment for the Vietnamese swimmer. Nguyen, a gold medalist, and an historic gold medal at that. Keisuke Yoshida, silver for Japan, and Marco de Tullio of Italy.